long, long, a long, long time ago, in a Linux universe far away, the founder of the Kubuntu project, yes, of course, Ubuntu with KDE, had another distribution, and it was called Nopix. And Nopix, uh, with a G, mind you, was essentially based on Debian Linux, and later on, they it stopped being made due to Ubuntu and all of that. And looking at their website, they've been back again after the last couple of years. And as you can see here, uh, they've essentially been back since uh, 2021. And basically, as you can say here, uh, it talks about the history. And Nopix to this day, of course, is still based on Debian with uh, some parts of Kali Linux as well. The interesting portion about uh, Nopix is if you go to download it, they have different versions of it now as well. So they actually have a Pro, which you pay for which is essentially got some additional software on top of it and a core edition which is the free edition which we're going to look at and a developer edition and uh, the biggest difference of them of course as i already mentioned is the software included but 99 percent of the time you can just probably add that to your, your cell phone core if you know what you're doing and what i found very interestingly enough uh gonna pick score at least uh Flagship is XFCE. I kind of expected it to be KDE, I suppose. But uh, KDE is the second option, but they do uh, tell you there's no specific maintainer for it, and it shouldn't be used in production until they have a maintainer. So we're going to look at Nopix. And here it is, uh, booted up live. So looking at immediately, nice. Uh, little out of the box setup options here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit install now okay and it uses a calamari installer i'm just gonna race through here uh, ext4 next install it you know the draw by now. I'll be back once it's installed. Okay, we have the login screen. XFCE. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is it gives us the option select dark or light theme. So I'm going to choose a dark theme. Okay. Am I supposed to log out for it to do it? And let's go to settings. So oh, this is nice. It's a very Windows 7 start menu feel to it. Yeah, let's apply. Let's keep this config. I'm just going to log out and log back in again. Maybe that will make the theme take effect. Okay, that doesn't seem to work, which is interesting. I'll go, if we go to appearance, make uh, that option and choose Nopix Blue Dark. There we go. That works. Okay, so let's first some updates. Okay. And what happened there? Anyway, so looking at it straight out of the box, uh, no brush wallpapers or anything here. Right, if I right click, I can go to desktop settings. I don't even seem to have a wallpaper. interesting but what i like immediately the start menu if you're coming from a windows type environment right you've got your accessories internet multimedia etc i see not picks appearance it's great out perhaps that only works if you pay uh accessories right more the usual type of stuff you're going to get calculator a calendar a disk clipboard manager key pass XC, which is interesting and they have this nopix ai installer what is this okay it's dark save pinocchio 
Okay. So these seem to be uh, scripts that you can get and just to uh, use them and work with them. Interesting. Wish there was more documentation on this. Uh, but okay. Let's actually, let's close that. Really great. Uh, development, of course, Icon Browser, nothing there. Education, key, Keywix. I have no clue what this is. And it's not showing me anything either. Okay. Internet, okay, Proton VPN. Nopix Diffusion, what's Nopix Diffusion? That just failed. I assume that's what happens if I say start being anonymous. And what if I say stop being anonymous? Okay, interesting though. Uh, okay, we have private messaging from your desktop. So this really seems to be really focused on uh, respecting people's privacy. I mean, they even have the Tor browser pre-installed. Or should I say an installer for the Tor browser? That seems to install pretty quickly there. Oh, okay, and here it is. It's already pre-installed here. Installed there. Okay. Uh, that's the launcher. And they have Tutor Mail, which of course is a mail, uh, online mail system that I believe respects privacy. I don't know too much about it. Uh, they also have on VPN pre-installed. Okay, Multimedia, SMP Player, Parole, Media Player, Office, Libre Office, other electron wallet English. Okay, so that's it has your own, or you can connect to your own one. Interesting. Let's no, accept that. And settings, of course. Topics tools. Okay, so this doesn't load. Got to my tools. So, so far, it's great to, you know, see how they've taken KDE, uh, apologies, how they've taken Debian and, you know, added some packages and flat packs and really made XFCE look awesome and accessible for, for users, albeit some seriously large icons, uh, which you, of course, can uh, adjust. But... And some really great, you know, additional pieces of software that's been added to this thing. Uh, which is really, really great. And, you know, I think it's quite out of the box thinking here. And it's really polished. I mean, if I use software, it's, they use the GNOME software catalog. But I can't help but wonder... If I would really be more blown away by this distro if, you know, one got the paid version for it. Because I suspect some of these options here that I've clicked on don't work. And it's just specifically because of the version I chose. Uh, I could be wrong. Maybe it's just my setup and my hardware. I don't know. Uh, but I do kind of feel like there's like one or two things missing here. And again, probably got to do with the... 
uh, Call cool versus Pro, but this is a really great distribution. I mean, what's for me really nice to see is how they've gone ahead and taken a, you know, an OS or uh, like Debian, and they've taken XFCE, and instead of just having another single Linux distribution, they've really made some great uh, quality of life adjustments to it. So who's this for? Well, you know, if you want to use a another distribution that's Debian based focused on more privacy, so taking some of the privacy stuff or something like Kelly Linux, this is a distribution for you to try. Um it really it kind of the layout of it kind of reminds me a bit of Zoran OS, to be honest with you. I go for that whole mysterious Windows 7 type thing, which is a great uh, use, especially for uh newer to Linux folks. But uh, out of the rest of it, of course, uh, the additional software that it doesn't have, you can most likely install that type of stuff uh, yourself manually, like Wine and uh, any IPTV to look at uh, legal streams. As always, folks, leave your comments below. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily pay for the Pro version, but that's just me. At least, I don't think the full price for they're asking uh, for this. I think it's forty dollars, but I could be wrong. So let me be sure of my facts before I close it off. And as you can see, they default uh, Firefox out of the box has quite a couple of uh, extensions going on here. Let's just see how much Pro version is. Yeah. Uh, $13 for student, $40 for pro. Don't know if I would pay $40 uh, for this, but, but again, I can just draw my own uh, this if I really wanted to, so I'm not the target market. But hey, folks, uh, it was good to support it. Uh, nothing wrong for paying for distribution if you get uh, value from it. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.